I want to print out some fish tank lids on my new A1 printer for my daughter. So let's see if we can use the full bed of this printer. We'll use Fusion 360 design software to make a rectangular shape with rounded corners to print out. So we'll have a layer height of 0.2 millimetres and the bed size is 256 millimetres. And the bed has some rounded corners, so we'll set up as 7mm. So first we're going to create a sketch in the XY plane. We're going to do R for rectangle. And we'll make it 256 by 256. And we'll have the 7 millimeter round corners. Now I don't want to print on the whole bed, we only want to print on part of it, offset and we'll make that minus one millimeter and that's the sketch done. Now we want to give it some depth so now we'll extrude and we just want to select the outside there and we'll go layer height and maybe make two layers height. So now we can see we've got our rectangle there 256 by 256 with some seven mil round corners and two layers thickness at 0.2 thick. So we'll call that A1 bed size and we'll export that. So we'll save it as a mesh. And we'll just save that as A1, A1 bed size. So now we have a file that we can print out. So now we'll use Bamboo Studio to add that shape. A1 bed size. And we can see that fills the bed. And if we try and do the auto layout, we can see that's jumped off the bed. So if we want to get that back on again, we can select the item and say center and it'll put it back on the center of the bed. So now if we slice that, then we can see there's two layers. But one thing we'll notice is on the front here, if I was want to print out something that was 256 by 256, this line here would be inside the print and muck up the quality of it. So what we can do is we can go into this first layer here and add a pause. And what that means is when the printer starts to print this shape out, it will pause on before the first layer and that will give us time to remove those two lines. So we just slice that again and send that to the printer. So the first thing it's going to do is it's going to try and extrude out the previous filament, albeit for this one it's just extruding out the purple filament and replacing the purple filament that was already there, but not much of a waste. So now it's vibrating the printer at its resonating frequencies so that it can avoid those during printing to give you a better surface finish. Holy moly Batman, what was that? I guess that's why they call that a bed slinger. So now it's wiping its nose. That bed sure heats up a lot faster than my Aldi printer. And to get a good perfect first layer, it's now going to auto level the bed. Now the printer is paused. And we can remove those two lines and resume. So now it's printing out that first layer. And now it speeds up for the remaining layer. So the extruder has a blade in it and when it pushes against that arm it cuts the filament. And now that's done. Now you can see that it does print up over the whole bed and you have to have the rounded corners so that it doesn't try to print in mid-air. And then this side of the plate has a little bit of an extension over the front 
in theory it could print right to the corner of that one but that would just be one corner out of four. Cheerio!